welcome to James Penny Technology. Today uh, we will be installing OSX Tiger. So before we start, I'd just like to say this video was made possible by Forte Audio. At the checkout, enter the promo code James5 to get 10% off any Forte product. So let's get started. So I'm just trying out VMware Fusion 8 here. So this is the latest version. So, if you're doing this in workstation, it will still work, but you'll just need to follow along with this. So, it'll be very similar. So, you want to select other and just select other. Don't select 64 bit, just other. Click continue. Alright, so yes, I want a new virtual disk. And I'm going to customize this because I don't want it. Uh, VMware. I'm just gonna create one OS X Tiger. Cause I already have one. No one is messing around. So OS X Tiger. Save that. And so I'll go and just do my defaults. Uh, what is it? Forty eight. 1048 to give that RAM uh, display to uh, work anyway. Yes. Um, okay, that's. Um, let's make sure that's not there. Okay. So then I'll go into Finder here. Um, VMs. Mware, Tiger, and on Mac you'll need to go show package contents. You will just need to go into its folder, I think, on Windows. So I'll need to go in here. And yes, if you can't find it, um, you can just. I'll probably put it in the comments how to do that because I have recorded this on Windows and it didn't work. So I want to go and add, add pay 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 VM equals true. So that doesn't work. So I've got to copy those and put one there. Uh, save the VMX file because this will not boot up unless you well it will boot up installer however if you try and boot up after installing it's not going to work after you fix the problem which I'll show you yeah, um, so I need to go into Safari downloads, my big archive of downloads because my hard drive would just fill up. Um, so, I don't think that's it there. There we go. DVD. And oh, connect that quickly. It's going to let me. Yes. Alright, so just hit enter. It will say loading Darwin and uh, run to the full screen. Mm. <coughs> right, so it's loading up. Shouldn't have any problems. Worked okay, yep. So we've got this going. So use English as the main language, unless you don't want to. I'm going to use that. So then start. We need to go to disk utility and erase the disk. So I'm just going to call it the default Macintosh HD. Okay, erase that. It's actually quite fast. It's really good. Um, continue. Yep. 
Yes, I want to do that. Customize. So I'm going to install the combo update and the CSSE3. And hit install. No, 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 no. I'll skip that because my DVD is fine. So I'll just quickly talk about this. So basically, this is most commonly known as the like, Hackintosh. So it's basically where you install macOS on PC hardware. So I'm doing this for educational purposes only and yeah. So this will install so Hackintosh is you can I guess you use them to try out Mac OS, see what the software is like. You know, try it out if you're thinking about buying a Mac. Obviously because this OS was released way back in like, 2004. Um, you wouldn't install this to try Mac OS unless you were buying maybe a power PC or a, a really old MacBook. So, just installing software. Uh, it's a lot quicker. <laughs> Being old, it doesn't have as many things. So, you look in here and see if I've got a few errors. It's extracting the files to my drive. So I'm gonna pause the video so you don't have to sit through this. And I'll come back once it's ready. Alright, so it's just finished installing, and now it says click to restart. So, yeah, if you, click, you don't have the logo open, it will automatically restart itself. So, mm, uh, so I'm going to restart. Mm, no. Alright, so you're going to get this error. If you use to my disk, it says B0 error. So, I would have found so let's see choose disk image and let's search for G parted Safari download and select that. Right, so we start the virtual machine and then get spamming so I can get into the that and CD ROM. So this will fix the error that would show up. So yeah, you can ignore this stuff that pops up. It doesn't really matter. At least not for this. Um, Load. Right. Here we go. Just changing. Alright. Alright, so I don't want to touch my key map. I want the English language, so I'd select 33 US. So, gives you all the options. So yeah, if you want English, don't type something random in. Otherwise, you're not going to get English, and you probably won't be able to read it. Unless, you know, you can. So which mode do you prefer? If you want to actually see the desktop, you're going to want to type 0. If you just want a command line, like this kind of thing, uh, you just go to and I haven't tried one, so that obviously configures X manually, so I don't know what that does. Let's go to zero and let it log in. Alright, so it's gonna load up two parted and you wanna Right click on this 
and then go manage files and select boot. And close so this wait for that to actually start. Alright, so reboot. Hey. Let's go beep. So disconnect and we'll get the Apple logo. Alright, starting Mac OS. So I don't think you'll be able to hear this because I'm not using uh, some input for my thing, but it plays nice. Intro tune, bit of music. There we go. Alright, so do not transfer. I'm Australian. Oops. Alright, hold on. Alright, so I'm gonna mainly use this at home for this list and select other, continue and see if I got those right. No, thought so. There we go. Alright. I want to go and see, see if I can get it this time, yes. So, the last time I set this up, I realized, I don't know why, but there's actually Russia. I'm guessing it's because it's in the time zone area. Highlighted, that's not the right time. It's actually two hours from what it says. But, uh, it doesn't matter. Because I'm probably not going to have this running at all if I use it very rarely. Alright, so probably just processing it. The mouse is still moving, so still alive. It's good. Alright. Alright, so now we have the default MacList X type background. So, you probably would have noticed before I shrunk that window to the background that this actually has a metal finish to some of the windows. Some of the windows only have this, I know that preferences doesn't, but I'll just have a look at it quickly. So, you've got the appearance. Blue graphite and stuff changes the upper logo as well. Okay, green. Don't know. Alright, uh, select the text. Okay, because <laughs> so I was wondering why that never worked for me. Um. So we have all those. Well, a lot of those settings are still in here. I might just this up lately. so yeah a lot of the settings still there some of them just changed but no oops we'll go into the emulator and I'll show you around it quickly so one thing There is no app store. So, the app store didn't actually start when we launched on the Mac until 2009, 6, can't remember. <laughs> but it was around the time of OS X 10.6.7, I think. And it came out with that update. Which, uh, you can, if you still are running that and you want to upgrade your magnet supporter you can still update to the latest um so yeah on here there is no app store you've got all the old stuff 
movies back then you were just used to like having discs or apps you could just download from websites and stuff. Yeah, uh, looking at iTunes. Yeah, yeah, still there. Ah, uh, welcome. Yes, yes. No, take me to my library. No, check out the store, see what it looks like on the old versions. No, it doesn't actually look like much. <laughs> so, we should play uh, And I found when I try an update, it doesn't work. So, I don't install that. So, this has been uh, an install of OS X Tiger. Thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.